Good evening, everyone. Good evening. This uh, question is addressed to our mayor, uh, Gracia Kasuki Katawa. Could you clarify how the proposed uh, creations of an enlarged conservation zone at Mackenzie King Park? as outlined in item 40.09 on the agenda, will impact the current locations of the monument of Dr. Jose Rizal. We are concerned about the potential relocation and its implications for the Filipino Montreal community's access to this significant space. As a long-standing stakeholders in the area and a past regional commander of uh, Eastern Canada region, and uh, proponent for the dedications of the space on the legacy of Dr. Jose Rizal. Since 1998, we were uh, flexed by the lack of consultation regarding the proposed changes for biodiversity conservations. Why was there no, there's no prior engagement with the organization that utilizes this is space? What study has been done about the biodiversity in the new area of the protected space. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Boko, for coming tonight. I'm happy to see you again. I think we're going to see each other often within the, the next months. So I just want to reassure you that, uh, first of all, I just want to put everything in context. So if everyone remembers, I think two years ago, we voted our budget. We were fully transparent on what we're going to do uh, in the park, Mackenzie King, and we said that we need a new uh, multi-sport uh, turf at Park Mackenzie King. And I believe many members of the community signed the petition to say that you know we need to protect uh, you know natural space uh, in in the park. We need to protect the uh, the, the the small wood that we, the wood wood that we have there, boise uh, that we have there. Um, so there was many people who came and comment comment on that project. There was some memoir that, that, that was given to the borough. And we came at the end with a resolution of the council uh, that was voted by the majority that says that uh, we're going to move forward with you know that new multi-sport turf uh, in the park because it's well needed in the sector of Côte d'Inej. And there's, um, there's a, a, you know, a lack of those type of facilities uh, in the Côte d'Inej sector. But one thing that was really important for us is to make sure that we protect uh, the, the biodiversity that is already there, that we help the Boise uh, you know, uh, grow, that we're gonna plant some trees. And one of the strategy that, uh, our, so our services listen to us, and one of the strategies that they came up with is that we, we need to protect uh, to, to protect the, the wood, donc le, 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 le boisé de Roi Wasserman, so we need to protect it. And when they did uh, their analysis, uh, they saw that there was also some tr um, um, trees that are unique near, uh, it, it, you know, in the sector next to the boisé. And, and there is the José Osirizal um, monument there. But one thing I want to tell everybody tonight is that I understand how important it is, uh, the, the, the monument. So what we're going to do, and we, you know, we had the discussion with the councillor uh, Moros, and the, we were supposed to vote, that, to vote that last council, but we asked the services to uh, reassure us that people will be allowed to gather around the, 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 the monument of Jose Rizal uh, in the park, and that there will be some paths uh, created specifically to make sure that we're supposed to, uh, that we are able to go around. So uh, what I want to see is to make that to uh, so that space could become even nicer, you know, uh, in the future. So that's that's the goal, and that's why we uh, I think that we're able to achieve both goals. So to protect uh, the diversity in the in the park and to make sure that uh, you know Jose Rizal still have an honorable place in the park.